There's something about a butcher knife that's so aesthetically menacing. Like, I've only used this to cut carrots and radishes, and whenever I hold it, though, I feel like I'm going to accidentally murder someone. Welcome to Daily Metal, where every day a different metal album gets dissected for your sadistic listening pleasure. I'm the heavy metal lawyer, Emma. And in this show, I'll talk about why the music in these albums is so good and where they fall in the history of music's most wretched genre. On July 14, 2005, crossover thrash smartasses The Accused put out their fourth album about recurring character Martha Splatterhead entitled Oh Martha. Oh boy, is there a lot to unpack here. But before we get into that, let's just start by saying that The Accused is probably my favorite crossover thrash band. As I mentioned in a previous video, the founders of crossover are generally considered to be suicidal tendencies, dirty rotten imbeciles, and stormtroopers of death. But The Accused were actually contemporaries of these bands, though I think their sound matured and tightened significantly by 2005, unlike the other bands that mostly tried to adopt other sounds, like Suicidal Tendencies pretty much completely abandoning the crossover sound by 1988. Unlike Suicidal Tendencies self-titled album, which, as I noted in the review for that album, had a few tracks that were filler or were poorly written, Oh Martha is fillerless, a tight listen, and pretty much not letting up in ferocity and speed, though varying things enough and employing enough creative songwriting to keep you interested. The accused are basically everything you would want in crossover. Snotty, hyper-energetic, violent, and mosh pit inducing. So let's talk about Martha Splatterhead, the recurring character in many of the accused albums. Martha first appeared on the band's first EP, titled Martha Splatterhead, which, fun fact, was also the first released by the famous Earache Records. Anyways, Martha is introduced on the title track of that EP with quite the line. Is it a he or is it a she? Martha Splatterhead is a knife-wielding maniac. As far as I can tell, this is the only reference the band has ever made to Martha having some kind of transgressive or ambiguous gender. But it's not a surprising thing to hear in metal. Like its cousin horror films, metal music has had plenty of references to transgender or otherwise gender transgressive people from about as early as when it first started. Today we fortunately have some great transgender artists in metal like uh, the grindcore bands Creedon and Hears. But that was not always the case and unfortunately most references to transgender people in metal both back in the day and today, are more sleepaway camp than Pose. To name just a few examples, you have Tranny Ride by Bong Ripper, the album cover for Death Mask by Lord Mantis, and a whole lot of grindcore, like the album of a hermaphrodenic emina, enema by Urine Festival and the song Black Metal Transvestite by Agoraphobic Nosebleed. Oh Martha begins with the track Martha Will, which in addition to being incredibly violent does also have some sexual overtones with lines like she's always willing and four slice kisses your neck and licks her, clean, her blade clean. The ultra-violent lyrics correspond with the album artwork for both Oh Martha and the other Martha Splatterhead focused albums where she is drawn either like an edgy 80s Rob Liefeld comic book character, complete with mohawk and ginormous titties, or like a classic horror comic book like Tales from the Crypt. The heavy use of comic style illustration goes along well with the angsty sound of the band, the music brimming with manic energy, and the lyrics more petulantly violent than grimly violent. 
So, do you like the recurring character of Martha Splatterhead? Are there other recurring characters in metal albums that you like? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe so you can find out what the metal album of the day is, why it is so brutal, and where it fits in the history of the genre.